of today. The hangout, the knockout, gonna be sitting down with fifty and sixty two. Try a different route this time. He checked it behind me. That's so much for that route. I was going to just check call the flop. I was just going to check call the flop. He didn't let me. He did not let me. Too bad. Too bad. If your opponent always picks it up, that 1,000 and 1,000 and 1,000, it will add up. 4,000. No, not me. Not this time. Just a random messed up raise. the ace beforehand I would be in horrible shape anyway. I'm gonna call whatever he fires at me. Here I'm just gonna fold. And I'm gonna try and pick up this one. Check raise. Beautifully done by Matt Damon in Rounders. No. Sorry to say so, you're in danger. He didn't play it as well as Matt Damon did. I have to admit, I do really like that scene. I do like that scene. I think that was... Very well thought out. Using the whole scenario from when Johnny Chan won the World Series main event against Eric Seidel. So, uh, all in all, I really enjoyed the movie. On a background note, actually, not a lot of people know that. But uh, back in, um, I got might have my years mixed up, but back in 96, when Puck Seed won the World Series of Poker, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that story because this is kind of a funny hand. The limping with the aces, the three aces, the race from up front, and he's drawn completely dead unless he has hearts. Unless he has hearts, he's thrown completely dead. The question is, how do I want to proceed? How do I want to proceed here? Do I want to throw in the rays? I think that's that's my clue. That's my clue to put in forty-eight thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars. 
my guess is that he has seven outs. He might have a gut shot, he might have ten outs. He might just have aces and nines, that's of course it would be beautiful. No, he has the ten outs. That was not one of them. He had the ten outs. He did have the hard draw. He did have the hard draw, so that was kind of a, in that range I was working. So, after that nice little hand, I could go back to my Matt Damon and Rounder story and Huck Seed from winning the World Championship in 1996. Go ahead. Well, I've been contemplating the doing the check call. So I think that's the road I'm going to take here as well. That's the road I'm going to take. Once again, we have you're in danger with a skimpy raise. And once again, Gus goes for his pocket, pulls out the big wallet. Okay, second bullet, you're going to get it, you're. And once again, pick up the 3200. Racing is son of a gun, you're in danger. Alright, back in 96, it's the World Series main event. This is my first World Series. I got, oh, I, I really hate to say this, I hate this more than you will ever imagine, but um, I think I actually got outplayed by, I, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say the name because, yeah. Alright, anyway, I played my first World Series of Poker main event. I played like an idiot. I had absolutely no clue what I was doing. Some people may argue that I still don't, but uh, nonetheless, I uh, feel I have a little better control over the situation nowadays. Okay, I'll let him get away with the race again. Um, so, I lost quickly, but I was following my man Huck Seed on uh, on whom I had 10%. Actually, I had 10% on Huck Seed in that event. And uh, Matt Damon and Ed Norton were stopping by. They played in the main event. They were getting a little exercise for the for the upcoming Rounders movie, uh, trying to play a little uh, poker. They were there. They invited us to dinner and it was kind of funny because the poker players were eager to hear a couple of Hollywood stories, but the Hollywood stars was much more interested in just hearing some poker stuff. I guess they were just doing their homework for the upcoming Rounders movie. But nonetheless, uh, we had dinner. Very, very nice guys, each and every one. So it was me. Phil Helmuth, Huck Seed, Matt Damon, and Ed Norton. And, uh, well, as we know, they ended up making the Rounders movie. Huck Seed ended up winning the World Series of Poker main event. And I ended up with a little pocket change for having 10% of Huck Seed. So, all in all, it was a pretty good week. Pretty damn good week. Except for back in that time, I was actually really, really shy, and I was out on a date, and everything was going good until I got completely smashed up, hammered, and basically had to go home because I was just about to throw up, or let's just say I ruined the date by throwing up on it. So, 